Craig Jero here from Time Management Ninja and today I want to show you real quick how easy it is to use your iPad as a document scanner using a great app called Scanner Pro. So I'll get right into it and I just want to show you this demo. So let's turn on our iPad here and I've got Scanner Pro here set up for us. So when you open up Scanner Pro you're presented with your document library. In this case you see I have a home, a work, and then a TMN folder which of course is where we're going to work today. So I just want to show you how easy it is to just scan a quick document. So what I've got is a quick uh, printout of uh, actually yesterday's blog post. So we're going to scan this and see how easy it is. So I'm going to click on take a picture of a new document. And we'll go ahead and get this here. We're getting a little bit of lag because of the screen mirroring I'm doing. But I thought it was important for you to be able to see this. So we'll get the document in sight here. Focus a little bit. Take our picture, and once you have your picture, it auto finds the edges. But I'm going to go ahead and neaten this up here just for a little bit for us, so it's nice and clean. <clears throat> so there we go. Now you can see this this shot actually had a picture in it. So here's page one of our document that we've created. Um, Scanner Pro has some great filters. This is your photo filter, but if you want to do grayscale or a document filter. It has some great options there, which I'll show you in a second. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and accept the first page of our document. And you can see it creates our PDF here. Really easy, really slick. And now we're going to add the, the second page of this document. So I'll go ahead and put this over here and uh, say take picture again. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get this lined up. Go ahead and focus and snap a picture. So there, now we've got page two of our document. And uh, ironically, in this case, we had a little bit of problems finding the edges, but no problem. It's easily manually adjusted. There you go. Hit done. Processes our document. Now this one's interesting because this is a text page, so I'm going to go ahead and use the document filter and zoom. You'll see how easily Scanner Pro cleans up that page. I mean, it produces really crisp uh, PDFs of black and white documents if that's what you're doing. So we'll go ahead and hit done on this page. And uh, you'll see now we have our two page PDF here. We've got our original page that has the photo on it. We've got the second page that's just black and white. And um, I can now save this document. It's going to give me a sample title, but I'll go ahead and call this uh, TMN blog post, which is it was a sample post we did. And now I've got that document in my library. And uh, just to quickly show you a couple other features that Scanner Pro provides, I can upload that to iCloud, uh, and then it's instantly synced uh, with my iPhone. If I've got Scanner Pro on my iPhone, it does work on both devices. Um, so if you scan something on your iPad and you want to send it from your iPhone later, you can do that. Um, if I'm inside my document here, I can easily move pages around, I can delete pages, I can do whatever I want, I can rotate them. But it has some great sharing features as well. Uh, you'll see here I can email documents. Um, I can send it to photos, I can print it if I've got it, my printer hooked up on the network, which I do. I can upload it to Dropbox or to Evernote, even Google Docs. Uh, so very easy. Uh, a lot of great features here in Scanner Pro. But I want to show you just how easy it was to uh, use your iPad <clears throat> as a document scanner. And uh, highly recommend Scanner Pro. So check it out. Thank you very much.